Achievement Diaries. Truly, one of the goals of all time in old school RuneScape. So I completed every single one. Starting off by training Fletching for the Elite Desert Diary because I managed to get the cake you had in the previous episode. Alright, so after just about half an hour, I finished enough arrow shafts that if I combine it with my headless arrows, I'll be able to make all my amethyst arrow tips into arrows. So I'm gonna use my U short bows and long bows with bowstrings to get to the level to make amethyst arrows, and I'm just gonna do that. Alright, finish buying feathers. Don't spend even fucking million. Feathers are fucking free, holy shit. 79 fletching. 80 fletching. 81 fletching. One level two. 82 fletching. Under half an hour later, now we can make amethyst arrows. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. <coughs> hmm, why yes. This window sauce must be made of mahogany. 83 fletching. 84 fletching. 85 fletching. I think this is the last level I'm getting with my amethyst arrows, and then I'll move on to something. I'm not sure what. Alright, I'm gonna use all of my random or miscellaneous fletching items I have. We'll see how much XP that ends up getting. Well, there we go, that was 56.9k XP. Let's go see what else I have. Alright, well, I can use my Dragon Bolt, so I'll do that. Alright, there we go, 35k XP. Alright, to continue to grind, I'm going to be doing Broad Arrows. In fact, I'm going to be doing 190,000 of them. To get to just slightly over 90 fletching, at which point I'll start doing Amethyst Darts. To get to 91, boost, get to 95, get, become 95 with boost, and then just finish off the Elite Desert Diary. So. You know, a little short grind. Obviously, I'm starting off with arrow shafts. Get shafted. Alright, well, that's enough. Now it's time to actually make headless arrows. Fletching 86. Alright, headless arrows complete. Time to go buy the broad arrow heads. Alright, well, I bought no broad arrow heads. Time to fletch. 87 fletching. Fletching 88. 89 fletching. Two to go. 90 fletching, one more level to go. Alright, finally done with the broad arrow. Broad arrows. Just in case I didn't mention it, I spent around 12 mil coins on the arrowheads. Now I'm gonna finish it off with amethyst darts. 91 fletching. Oh, 2100 level. Very cool. With fletching completed, there were only two more skills remaining to finish off, and those were prayer and thieving. So let's get those as well. All right, time to do some prayer training. Starting off with the chaos altar. Pretty good. First inventory down already. First peak here. Huge. Level eighty-two. 83 prayer. So I was running to the Chaos Altar with an inventory full of Wyvern Bones and I didn't see the PK logging because my inventory was in the way and I was too late on the logout. They freeze me and they, they start attacking me. So what I did is I dropped all my bones because recently I read a reddit post about somebody doing the exact same thing and they just left the bones. And I mean, guess what happened? They just left the bones. I came back and they were still there. Which is pretty fucking lit. Very cool. Well, this is an interesting one. Let's see who wins. <laughs> he is actually eating. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So he's definitely not a, in PK gear. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. So weird. Eighty-four prayer. All right, got enough XP from bones, so now I'm just gonna do head. Eighty-five prayer. Now all that's left is ninety-one theming. Just gonna do that through temple plunder, pyramid plunder. 
I decided I'd get 91 thing really quickly just to repair my plunder just in case I get a second Pharaoh Scepter which uh, obviously did not happen. I mean a third, I already got my second, it took 27 hours. So the, my construction is 93. Very good episode, very good video, very good video. You should go watch it. You should go watch it. No. And after I got 91 thieving, it was time to finish the achievement diary. <laughs> and 91 thieving. And task complete. Another elite task complete. Another task complete. And another task complete. Task complete. Lead diary complete. What's needed is to go to Shandy Pass and get my rewards. Alright, very nice. No longer need to pay for Shandy Passes, right? Exactly, baby. Nice. Alright. Rub, Herblor, obviously. Only 250k more XP. And on to the next one. After completing the Elite Desert Diary, I decided to take a bit of a detour and get 99 cooking. No real specific reason as to why I did it, I just... I'm pretty sure I was sick at the time, and I just didn't have the energy to do anything else other than something really low intensity. So I just got cooking, 99. 92 cooking. 93 cooking. 94 cooking. 95 cooking. 96 cooking, very cool. 97 cooking, alright. Nice amount of anglerfish. I'm gonna continue over with cram ones. 98 cooking, alright, it's all the cram ones. So I'm gonna finish off the last couple bits of XP with wines. Alright, so this should get me enough XP for 99 cooking. I stacked all of them up, so. Just gotta wait for the 12 seconds for them to ferment. And because I'm 98 cooking, I have a 100% chance of making a wine. And there it is, baby. 99 cooking. Gonna go buy the cape. Yeah, there it is. Cooking cape. It's a demo. <laughs> Alright, that's a meat pie, I guess. Very cool. Fifth 99 on the account. Achieved. Let's get back to finish those achievement diaries. After this little detour was complete, it was finally time to get back into the Elite Diaries. The first one was the Western Elite Diary. Now I've completed most of them, like most of the requirements already. I just had one major requirement, which were a thousand chompy kills. That one was pretty fun. Alright, that's complete. And there it is, turn me down. Alright, finally 1000 KC. It's another task complete. Just gotta go over to Rens. Goddamn, all the goddamn hats I missed. Sheesh. Alright, let's go to the Elder Gnome Child. And Western Elite complete. All that's left is the current Elite. Alright, that's complete. Now I'm gonna go kill a Hydra. Alright, made a couple of wild pies so I can boost from 94 Slayer to 99, I guess, for the Hydra kill. Alright, task complete. There's one thing I've intentionally obscured from you during this video. If you're an old school RuneScape player, you probably know what it is, as it's the last requirement for my achievement diary cape. It is the last achievement task that I need to do all of the achievement diaries to be completed. To complete the Elite Current Diary, you need to complete a Chambers of Xerix raid. Now, I've never done any raid on this account. I've never done any raid in Old School RuneScape, period. And I don't really have any friends, nor do I really want to join the We Do Raids Discord. So I decided I would try out Cox solo. This is how it went. Alright, so I spent about 6 or 7 hours watching guides, and this is basically the setup I've decided on. I've already done a little bit of scouting to get Mystic, Swangard, and Vasa. Even though theming is a slow room, I'm going to pick it, because it's an easy room. Uh, and I've got Wangard, and Vasa, which will give me overloads. And I think this will be a pretty solid, solid raids room. Uh, for Cox, I'm just, I mean, for all, I'm just going to over prep and see how it goes. 
Oh, I should take an axe with me. <laughs> didn't realize I would need it to upgrade my storage unit. Kind of forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have an ice demon, so I won't get one extra. Uh, well, I guess I'll restart. Alright, another raid scouted, and it's basically the same as the first one. <coughs> so, this should be pretty solid. Have an exit this time, so that should be fine. Let's begin. Decided I'll just kill them normally without bothering with a safe spot because I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. And I mean, I will over prep anyway later on, so I should have enough supplies moving on. Alright, room over, finally. I fucked up like twice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let them re uh, get their HP back like two or three times. Kind of, kind of bad on my part, but uh, it is what it is. Couple supplies. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm meant to bank these. To be entirely honest, it's not actually the ceiling or is it bank room? I think it's bank room, right? Oh, we'll see. All right, time to do some thieving. Yes, my little one, eat! Eat! Eat them all! And there it is. Alright, well, next up is Vasa, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, that was a pretty poor start, but we'll see how it continues to go. And there it goes. That was not perfect, but uh, it was fine. Obviously. It was just fine. It was just fine. It wasn't the best, but it was fine. Now the tight rope! I've been in the race for 27 minutes. I'm gonna be dead ass. It has not felt like 27 minutes at all. So it's like 10 minutes or something. Prep time! Oh man, this brings back memories to CG. Prep time. It's still going. That's 30. 31. 2. 3. 4. 5. Um, I mean, at this point, I just want to see how many there are. Oh, okay. 39. 39 from a single one. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Slight over prep, you know, just 34 utilizations and 65 Xerxes aids. Now I'm going to go suicide them. All right, well, I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's get into one. I've just realized I'm incredibly focused and I'm not talking at all, giving no commentary. But, uh, yeah, it's been pretty fucking hectic, eh? Yeah, do, do, I'm not really doing any strategies that you're, like, could do. So I'm just kinda doing my best. Nice dodge right there. I'm just kinda doing my best. Like, I'm not utilizing any, um, sick strategies. Keep forgetting to pay attention to that, but, uh, Yep. Like, I'm not utilizing any 4-1 or whatever, because I'm not that good at the moment. And I mean, I have enough supplies to kind of just brute force it this way, I guess. It's not really brute forcing it, but just do it uh, without utilizing any meta strategies. And I did manage to bring some water spells for this fire. Alright, there we go, last phase. 
Ah, damn it. Oh, I died. Fuck's sake. Alright, one hand down. Let's kill the second one real quick. Should be able to. Okay, there we go. Range gear. Now it's head time. Damn it. Died again. Second death. I'm down to 7k points. Yikes. Well, at least now I can bank my other gear though. Uh, yeah. And there we go. Completed. Holy shit, 79 minutes. Uh, we're gonna have to bring that down. Obviously white loot. No surprise there. Torn prayer scroll. Oh, I got preserve. On my first KC. It's actually not too bad. Uh, the rest is pretty useless. 10k points. I don't think that's too bad for first KC and... Yeah. Let's go get the Rada Blessing too. And there we go. Kurand Elite complete. As well as all of the Elite Diaries completed. Everything. All of them. There it is. Jima Diary Kit. Yeah, I was wrong. You don't actually need the quest kit for it. Uh, you just need it for the trim. Sidema. Not here. What? Oh, very cool. <laughs> what the fuck? And yeah, achievement diary completed. See the teleport? Holy shit, that's a lot of teleports. That's nice. Apparently, this is one of the closest teleports to a bank. I can see that. Very cool, very nice. But I'm still gonna go complete the quest cape just to have that finished once again. So, desert treasure two time. I did it! I completed Chambers of Xeric and I actually got pretty lucky. I got Preserve on my first KC with just 10k points, so that was actually pretty damn good for me. Preserve actually being a pretty useful prayer that I've been using quite extensively since I've gotten it. And yeah, with that the achievement diary was complete and I guess this is the obligatory spoiler warning for everybody who hasn't yet had the chance to complete Desert Treasure 2. There will be some mild spoilers. Desert Amulet 4 time! No other skins required. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna be using Quest Helper to complete this quest nice and quick. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Starting right off the bat with a cutscene. But I mean, no proper treasure the last one, dude. I got fucking Asian Spellbook. Dude, that shit's lit. Oh, dude. I can already tell Duck suck. It's good looking. 30% <laughs> split, huh? <laughs> All right, yeah. thirty percent split. Let's go, baby. Well, apparently I need combat gear, but uh, I did not even bring a teleport back home with me. So, so many sources of teleportation, and I brought none, except Sandiston, which teleports here. That's lit. Uh, yes, that is not suspicious at all for him to be confused about his name. I caught you a bit off guard by saying your name. Hmm. Wait, what? What do you mean he seems familiar? I don't. I remember this guy from anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, buddy. I already have a pickaxe with me. And it's a mighty good one. <laughs> the Stranglewood! Whoa! 
One of the newest areas in the game, if I remember right. Healthy. <laughs> New mechanic straight up. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Just what? Uh, uh, you weren't very quiet. Alright. We're nervous. Hello. Damn it. Oh. Alright. Was not ideal, but got a kill. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is Cassandra so fucking strong, dude? What the fuck? That is crazy. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Holy shit, finally. An offer? Is that the first time I've made it that my character has made a joke without intending to? That's pretty funny. Fair enough. Alright. Time for Leviathan. Well that was <laughs> very easy. And I only got supply drops, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's just <laughs> Surprisingly easy, honestly, compared to our Dorvis. Just a bit more chill of a boss. Excuse me? Where's the music coming from? What the fuck? It is being played from my Moonlight Client. <laughs> what? The music just fucking bugged or something? It's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, we got Leviathan music until I turn off the client, probably. <laughs> Very fucking cool. Bro, it's even playing after I logged out. I'm gonna f have to full on turn off the client. Gorok prison time! Ring around the rosy! For three minutes. Duke time! Oh, You sleepy boy. He sleep. Somebody really went ham on animating those slips, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool. And on he goes. Got the odd key. Very cool. Oh! Hey, how you doing? Literally the nice crib meme. Goddamn. Uh, enjoy the crib, I guess. I've been frozen. Oh, he legitimately said nice house. Didn't even realize that. Hello? Come on. There we go. Ciao! Oh, something's inviting me into the depths. That's pretty cool. Definitely not a bad idea to go into the depths. If a voice, a strange voice is inviting you into it. Sanity mechanic time. Alright, now it's gonna be time for the Whisperer. The final boss of Desert Treasure 2, I think. And down it goes. Very cool. 58 uncut rubies. To finish off the quest. Surgeon Trails and Medallion. And I think that's the final boss. Pretty cool. And it's telling me to bring melee and ranged combat gear, so I'm assuming there's one more boss fight, eh? Okay. Let me go gear up and then let's go finish this damn quest. Fucking hell, there's so many of them. What the fuck? Oh wait, it's Actanicos! I remember this cunt! <laughs> you all came alone. Now who's hiding? Oh, it's him! Oh, it's Slisk! Oh shit! It's the Barrow's Brothers! Oh, he summons them. Time for the final fights, I guess. Alright. Holy! That was a bit... A bit extra. A little bit difficult. Oh, he got a horn! He'll see me in the north. Ooh, this isn't over. This is not over. That's a treasure free time, baby. Or north desert free, I guess. And now you get the Ring of Shadows. Quest complete, which means the quest cape is reobtained. Now I've completed all the quests on the Achievement Diaries. It's time to get into raids. 
with Tim's own mascot. I'll dump all of it into prayer because it is the hardest of the combat skills to train. 300k prayer XP. Fortunately not level because I've already leveled it to 85. But yeah. That's that's it. Thanks for watching I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's it. You've come to the end of the episode. We managed to get all oh, the Elite Achievement Diaries complete, as well as 99 Cooking, and re obtained the Quest Cape. And completed 8 Chambers of Xerx Raid completely solo, which was quite a challenge. But I mean, I just over prepped and it went fine. I do apologize that it took so long again, but, um, uh, and there's multiple reasons for it, but most of them are just excuses rather than actual reasons. But I guess one reason I can tell you is that I've already started grinding out Toa. In fact, I'm up to over 50 completions, which is roughly 40-45 hours of, of gameplay. And it's still not enough for a video. So, we'll see when the next one will release. But it shouldn't take as long as this one. Hopefully. Yeah, sorry about that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Like my balls.